Hey, this is Zoe Alexander with People's Dispatch. We're just outside the European Parliament in Brussels, Belgium, at the closing ceremony, the closing activity, mobilization of the People's Summit, which took place here in Brussels, Belgium, July 17th and 18th. It was held on the sidelines of the EU and CELAC summit. This was the heads of state summit that had not been held for the last eight years. Um, and the people of Europe, the people of Latin America and the Caribbean decided to hold their own summit as well, um, to come together as peoples, as social movements, trade unions, left parties, um, to also discuss the key issues facing the people with the understanding that uh, a space of dialogue between peoples of both regions uh, is essential to advance in cooperation and regional discussions. This was a summit that was uh, filled with a lot of uh, controversies, the official summit. Uh, ahead of the official summit, we know that there was uh, a, an intense exchange back and forth between the blocs, um, especially due to the attitude of the European Union that attempted to impose uh, different political lines and political statements on the uh, Latin American bloc, which have been, which are contrary to its historic position, for example, on the Russia-Ukraine war um, and on other issues. And so this was a uh, it was a difficult time to get to this summit, but they're here. There was a very productive discussions. Uh, we know that several important economic uh, agreements were signed as well as uh, social development agreements. And on this side, on the People's Summit, uh, a very important declaration was also uh, drafted expressing complete uh, rejection of the blockades imposed on the countries of Latin America by the EU, by the United States ratifying solidarity with these countries and calling for a relationship without domination, but based on respect, on mutual cooperation, and as uh, interaction as equals. So it's been a very, very interesting couple days here in the capital of Belgium.